Hi traders, this is Jeff and I'm here today to give you a quick tutorial on entering a conditional order in Trader Workstation on a combination covered call order or a buy write order. What you see right here right now is a call writer's trade management calculator and you can see that I purchased um, GE stock at 1637 and I wrote a uh, call against it and this is a November 16 which so this is a slightly in the money call and I collected a dollar ten cents for that option my cost basis is 1527 so now I want to put this on autopilot and I want to make sure that if I'm not around to watch the market and GE tanks for whatever reason I want to be able to get out of this trade. So over here, this is a Trader Workstation's um, option trader. And I have the uh, buy right for GE up here right now. You can see that I'm currently owning 100 shares of the stock and I'm short one November 16 call. This line down here is the combination line and it's giving me right now the combination price. I found out that you can click on e right click on either the bid or the ask and uh, it doesn't matter because when you do it this way um, you have to tell it whether you're buying or selling anyway. So you just go down here on this drop down over to order ticket and it will bring up an order ticket. Naturally when you click on order ticket it will do that. And you want to make this a conditional order. So just go up here and click on the conditional tab. Select add. And we want our condition to be, pay, to be based on price. And the price of what? We want it to be based on the price of the stock, which is GE. They type GE in here. Hit the tab key. And then you want to say what you really mean when you say GE. So you want it to be the stock as listed on the NYSE and you want to do something if the price of the stock goes below a certain level and we'll just throw like say fifteen dollars in here if that's okay with everybody and we'll just say finish so now we have a condition here that says default price of GE stock on the smart exchange is less than fifteen dollars well what do you want it to do well, we go back to the basic tab and we say we want it to actually sell this combination. You can see when you click the buy or the sell, you can see that your action changes. It actually flip-flops around here. So we want to actually sell it. So we want to buy back our option and we want to sell the stock. Now, um, you want to give an order description. If you have limit in here, it has to be the limit price you have to put a limit price in here and it would be a limit price on the combination and you really have no idea what the price of the combination is going to be so you want this order just to be triggered off of your condition which we go back here and say if the price is less than fifteen dollars we want to actually just do a market order and that's it it's that's pretty much the end of it now you can preview preview the order down here if you would like and it just gives you an explanation you want to sell this combo remember you bought it originally so you want to sell it this time and you can come down here and click the transmit and here it shows up on your order line on option trader and that's it thanks for your time have a great trading day